Hey boys, welcome back to some more Beer Pro. We're up to round 16 of the Holden Cup, taking on the Newcastle Knights, who are actually on the verge of the top eight, so should be a should be a tough game. Where you know what I don't think we're out of the top eight just yet. We Well, obviously we're not out. If we get on a bit of a roll, we can still make the top eight, but against the top sides we really seem to struggle, which I guess is you know, I feel like the Broncos should be better. They do have a good under 20 side, so in this game it's probably a little silly, but they're not going too <laughs> we're not going too well against the top sides in the comp. But hopefully, hopefully we can get a good a good win against the Knights here. Set us up, hopefully to get a bit of a run on into the into the finals if we can make it. But we had the first real attacking attacking set of the game as we're looking to just force the error, I guess. Get a get a try in. <laughs> right there, not the greatest of kicks. I was I was more looking for just the um just to chase through and right there. So luckily I might actually catch it in here, but luckily the I think the winger out there, he actually passed it. If he if he just kept running, it was a definite try, but for some reason he passed the ball. So Yeah, and surprisingly someone else caught him. Like I I don't think I actually would have caught that fella that made the break. So luckily, luckily, um, he passed it. But it's really to no to no avail because we do a terrible miss tackle, just awful. You know, <laughs> I don't even know what he was doing. I should have just gone for the for the diving low tackle. Um, but yeah, he just steps me nonchalantly, and that's going to be the first try of the game. We were we were looking alright, but. A terrible kick by us, and then a poor, you know, it wasn't the worst kick, but a poor, poor kick chase, and just let him make easy ground, so it's never going to win the games with kick chases like that, so we have to, we have to pick this back up, and boys are throwing it around a bit, it is wet, it is raining, like usual, in these under-20s games, it's usually pretty mis miserable, but ball handling hasn't actually been too bad this game. Not too many drop balls, but let's see if we can't do something. So we try to go a little blindside play, and this has opened up beautifully back on the inside to me, and just can't, and he would not believe it. Almost is going to come in for his second try. It was such a, it was such a nice little play, and the second rower, Pride Peterson Rabadi, I think it is, just. Just races the length of the field. He has some has some pace. No one could catch him. Bit surprising, but it was just the offload was on, but it was probably one too many passes. I can't believe we didn't score though. I maybe I probably shouldn't have called for the pass. Probably shouldn't have called for the pass as we actually do get subbed off late in that late in the first half, but we come back on for the second half. Twelve six down. So we did manage to pick up a try, which is, which is always a bonus when you're off the field. So hopefully I can pick up this uh, little bit of momentum we have and turn it into, turn it into more points. But that was heartbreaking, honestly. That it was such a nice play, and then they run the length of the field. You know that just it's not good for the morale. But we do throw a risky offload, and thankfully they actually pick it up. And right here. Call for the ball, big palm off, and sees a bit of a hole, goes straight through it, and they're not going to catch me. That is a, that's a good little try right there. Saw a bit of an opening there, call for the ball. This pass wasn't good, but luckily they actually caught the ball. And gets it back here. Bit of a sidestep, bit of a fan, get out of my way, and then too much pace. The stats, the increase of stats are starting to show. A couple of weeks ago, I definitely... Probably would have got would have got caught there. They would have cut across and covered me up, but the acceleration, the the speed is starting to starting to grow, so starting to look the goods as we we level this game up with the one of the best tries I've got this season. Actually definitely the best try I've got this season. And right there, just old mate was through the gap. For some reason he passed the ball. And he bombs a certain line break at least. 
but they start to throw it around a bit. A bit risky, but we need to, you know, we don't need to panic. We brought this game back to level. And again, find more space just with simple draw and passing. Find good space and fourth tackle here. Perfect time for a kick. And that's exactly what we do. The wind is going pretty, pretty much perfect for us. And we almost pick up a, a good forward 20, but that is a, that is a great kick in these conditions. Pin them down in their end and hopefully you draw a mistake as we follow it up with the, with a couple of tackles in a row. You know, I wasn't going to let the kick go to waste. So I was going to, I was going to make sure they don't make a line break the first tackle. And right here, that's exactly what happens. We force the error. They looked a little flustered. We kept them down in their end and we, they came up with the error throwing the passes around and off the scrum and just the, a poor pass. And then the offload. <laughs> just a bit of a bit of panic setting in, but I don't know why. Just our passing game. Our stats for passing are pretty terrible, but somehow we didn't find the mark there. I don't know how. We hit the ground. And right here, just close to the try line. It's not that easy to score, but especially with <laughs> passes like that. But the on out wide and a good covering tackle there almost takes him out. That would have been pretty pretty bad for us. Fourth tackle. And unfortunately, I called for the ball. I just wanted to get it out, but they raced up on me. And I thought he was going to go to the drop goal, but puts it up in the air. And Samuel, Samuel G gets under that and picks up another four-pointer. So we're on a bit of a bit of a roll, a bit of a hot streak. Three tries in a row, pretty much. And he just outleaps the opposition there to plant it down for another four-pointer. And... Ashley Taylor converts. And we do... Actually, right here, yeah, we do actually... We get subbed off right here, and of course, when we come back on, we are defending a scrum 20 meters out. Yeah. Boys, what are you doing to me? Why are you bringing me back on the field? <laughs> Why are you bringing me back when we're there? We're under pressure. Four minutes to go in-game. Like, this is... This is do-or-die stuff. You know, if they get the try, they're going to get the kick, undoubtedly. And they're just throwing it wildly. This is another offload. A line, diving tackle there, but not good stuff. And that just, that just pissed me off so much right there. Just one off pass, and my god, the under-20s AI defense on the goal line is so bad. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. They all just, they all just spread like... They all just spread out. Bloody hell. And old mate just runs straight through. Plants it down. Untouched. I mean, I wasn't marker. I guess you could say I probably should have cut across, but... There were two defenders, like, right in front of him who just spread out. Just unnecessarily. And that is... That's going to be the end of the game. Unless we can come up with an in-step try. Unless they can come up with a try, but... Luckily, we get across to cover that little play. But that's the end of the game, unfortunately... We had a great comeback. I get man of the match. We did a really nice comeback and it just got squandered at the end with poor play, poor defense. Good game by us though, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.